And this is Dr. Susan Marcel. I would like to invite you Saturday, July 15th at 7 p.m. for ACO Movie Night, where we're showing the movie Dear Frankie, which is a wonderful, poignant film about a son and his mother and the struggles that they're living through with running from an abusive father. It's a delightful film. It's very human, very poignant, and it talks, it talks about the importance of the father-son relationship, the mother-son relationship, and basically how we communicate with one another with words and without words. So I hope you'll join us. And it's free. And it was recommended to me by somebody that I trust very much as far as tastes in films go. Um, it's a romance. It's a movie about relationships. And it really gets to the heart of each character you really can see each of them develop through the movie, which is what I love about movies. And that's what we're trying to do with Movie Night, is using movies as a way to talk about relationships and what gets in the way of those relationships being healthy. So it's, um, it's not your typical Hollywood movie. It's actually an independent movie. It's just like any, any, anybody else, any life, anybody's ordinary life. But you get a peek inside what this deaf boy's uh, life is like with his mom, and they're running, they're running away from an abusive father. And you don't know all the details, but what the mother does is she starts, she starts writing letters as if she's the father, and the father is supposedly out on a ship, sailing as, you know, as a seaman, and that's not true. So the whole movie's based on a lie, and yet it's a very truthful movie, and that's the kind of paradox, is she's lying to her son every day. These letters come in, he thinks it's from his father. It's not. It's her. But it's the only way she gets to see what's going on inside of him, and she keeps the lie up. Till one day, the ship shows up on the port where they're living, and then she has to make some decisions about whether to tell the truth or not. But there is a scene between Frankie and the stranger that just melts your heart. And if you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. It, it is... It is so, that proxy, you know, he, this, this stranger is his dad in his heart. This is a man who showed up. And um, I, I think one of the other concepts in this movie uh, is about perception. Because there's not a lot of talking and excitement and, and uh, things you have to think about. Really, the movie forces you to perceive everything, and you perceive how people are seeing things, and you you get to see. There's a lot of close-up shots uh, of each character from what they're seeing. You see, and it pans in, sees their view, and then you get to see what they're looking at. So, cinematography-wise, it's a very well-done film. In that way, you you see what they're seeing. You can experience it emotionally. So. The idea of perception, you know, being able to perceive clearly who you're connecting with is a very essential part of connecting and emotional contact. Um, without that, you can start making assumptions and end up having a very difficult time loving someone or having and receiving that love if there's something in the way. And in this movie, everyone has challenges to their perceptions, and yet they're all trying. And slowly things start being uh, removed from the ability to see themselves and each other in different ways, more truthful ways. And that, again, that's what's so amazing about this movie. It's based on a lie. These letters are a lie, and yet it's a very truthful movie. So it's kind of a paradox. And, um, and that's one of the reasons I just love this film. Very excited to do it for the college. Mm -hmm.